Ten years ago, ABC's Bob Woodruff entered Iraq with American troops. Tonight, some of them, through him, send a message for everyone who remembers. The invasion began with shock and awe. There were early successes, but years of bloodshed followed. I was there in the beginning, embedded with the Marines. How's it going, Bob? In that first week, I got to know Jesus Suarez del Solar. Hopefully we'll get this done and come home soon. A week later, he was killed by an unexploded artillery shell. By the time the war was over, we would lose 4,488, more than 32,000 visibly injured. Melissa Stockwell was the very first female soldier in the war to become an amputee, struck by an IED in 2004. Do you have regrets? No, not at all. Since then, she has become a world champion triathlete. We asked her today if those feelings have changed. I'm as proud as ever. You know, I show my leg off with the red, the white, and the blue, just kind of living proof that life does go on. Three years into the war, Jeff Landay was struck by an IED, unconscious for 32 days. As your I met him then away, in the Bethesda please, Naval Hospital. I can't say it. Uh, he can't remember anything from that interview, but today he owns a new house and is back in college. I knew that there could be a high possibility of me being wounded. I didn't believe I was going to get wounded as, as traumatically as, as I did. But, you know, I don't regret one second of it. And if they, if they gave me the chance, I would go, go back. And how do they want Americans to think of them now? I want people to look beyond what happened overseas. I mean, they can see the scars I've got on my head and my jaw and my shoulder and all that stuff. But I, I wish people would look uh, beyond that because there's, there's more to any, any given human. <laughs> Now about 1.5 million Americans have served in the war in Iraq, and most of those that I know, Diane, have told me that no matter what you feel about the war, for it or against it, history is going to make that determination. But for now, Americans have to thank those veterans for what they've done and for what they are. We do. We thank them and thank you as well, Bob.